Hey everyone, my name is Wash Queen. So today I'm going to create a look using this palette right here. This is the new KKW Beauty. I think this is Holiday Collection. So I got this palette with a lip crayon, classic Kim lip crayon. It's a bundle. I think it's a holiday collection, probably limited edition too. It's from Ulta, $35, and I got it during the Black Friday sale. It is really cute. I love the packaging. Look at that, super cool, huh? It looks like it's actually moving. I love the packaging and the colors, very my style. This is like an everyday favorite eyeshadows that I use. I love this one. It has blue micro glitter I like something that surprises me I like metallics that has glitters with colors that you wouldn't think would be there like a blue glitter in a brown metallic eyeshadow I like that basically this palette is for an everyday glam also I love KKW Beauty's lip crayons they are one of the best formula lip formula that I've tried from KKW Beauty I think you're gonna like this one if you like a long wear lipstick I think this one is very long wearing it is really nice with her lip liners and it feels like a lip balm but it has the color like a lipstick so if you don't like KKW Beauty cream lipstick because they're not long lasting. I think this one you're gonna like. I already prepped my lips and my under eyes. I haven't prepped my skin. I'm just gonna put moisturizer. I also did my eyebrows with the Bushy Brow Pen from Lime Prime. This is my favorite. I had this for a very long time and I skipped using it. I got this last year and I skipped using it for months because of the coronavirus. I wasn't wearing makeup and then I found it in my collection again. Tried it again, used it again, and love it again. This one is the brownie shade. I don't really moisturize all over my face because I am combination. I am oily on my T-zone. So I just leave like here, right here. Not moisturize and just moisturize where I'm dry and crusty because it looks so bad when you put foundation on. You're gonna see the crustiness of your skin. 24 hour fresh wear. I have two colors. 460 and 475. I think 460 is my winter shade. I don't know if I'm winter shade right now. Yeah. Right now. 475. Ooh. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm mixing 460 and 475. Next for my concealer, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This one is in 385. This is supposed to be similar to my skin tone. I forgot how full coverage this concealer is. I'm not used to it anymore. My freckles are fully gone, disappeared. Then I'm going to use a little bit of 320. This one is porcelain. I think this is the whitest concealer shade that they have. This is the Morphe M705. This is a concealer brush. Next, I'm going to use 415. This one is Honey. I'm gonna use this for my contour. You guys have to be careful with this one because it's it's very pigmented. I think I'm doing a lot, but... And then I'm gonna use a very dense brush. It's easier to blend creamy products with a very dense brush. Okay, next I'm going to use the Peach Perfect Setting Powder. This one is in translucent. I love this one because it's mattifying. Also, it's very fine. This is the finest powder I have tried. Also, it smells delish. <laughs> I should have used my KKW Beauty concealer and other products. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use KKW Beauty and everything from now on. I'm going to use her KKW Beauty powder, contour, and highlight kit. This one is in medium. My cheeks are too... 
My cheeks are too big for my liking, so I put bronzer. I contour it a little bit, like half of it here. This is my nose contour brush. Everybody's asking, not everybody, but <laughs> a lot of people are asking about this brush. This is from Target. It's Sonia Kashuk. I love this brush for my nose contour. It is very effective. It's not even a nose contour brush. It's just a blending brush. This kind of shape, like a kabuki small flat angle brush, is the best brush for my nose contour. And it does the job so well. It gives me that precise line right here and blends it well too. I have the JD Weighty one and it never worked for me. It's really hard to use it. From KKW Beauty, I like this blush palette. This one is the KKW Beauty Blush Palette Classic Mattes. These are all mattes. So what I do is just like go one, two, three. It's actually pretty, ooh. And then I'm gonna blend it. I like putting blush right here. My mom, when I was a kid, she would put blush everywhere on her face. And she worked on the counter, like a makeup department store. She was really good at makeup. She would put like, blush all over her face, even her eyelids, which actually a lot of makeup artists do right now. I think I'm ready for my eyes. I'm just gonna prep it. I already put concealer. This is the Mario Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Sit. This one is in medium. When do you know that you're putting enough setting powder? I think when the brush glides and not sticking on the concealer, that's enough. Ta-da! The star of the show. I love showing it because it really looks so cool. It really is shining on camera. It looks so cool. I love it. This is the inside. I'm gonna use the brushes from the Trend Mode box. The box had, I think, six brushes, the new Nabla eyeshadow palette, and also it came with the new pressed glitters, the Ruby pressed glitter. Very exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. Start with this one. I should have used this to set my eyelids, but I forgot. Nabla N306. So this color right here is suede. It's not that it's a very unique shade, you know? It's an everyday shade. Do I like this brush? I mean, it's okay. I think it's kind of flimsy. I think it needs more hair because it's bending. I can feel it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. It's blending very well. Look at that. That is a good blending. So this eyeshadow is actually pretty good. Next, I'm going to use this shadow. It's called Dune. Same brush. Ooh, okay. These shadows are blending beautifully. Next, I'm gonna get the Nabla N204. I'm gonna get the Dune. I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Next, with the same brush, I'm going to get the color Suede right here. And I'm going to put that under the darker shade. So I'm just gonna put it like this. I'm gonna go back to my first brush. I'm gonna get my Kiki W Beauty Bake Number Two. This one is the setting powder. Just gonna put it right here.
Back to the eyeshadow, I'm going to get a flat brush. This one is the Nabla N103. And I'm gonna use this shade right here, Mineral. This is the shade that I was telling you guys. It has like blue holographic glitters. Since it has glitters, I'm going to use Give Me Glow, Glow Harder Glitter Shadow Primer. It's not glue and I love this because it's clear. You can't even see it. The trick is wait for it until it's a little bit drier, then putting the eyeshadow on it when it's very wet, tacky is good. When it's tacky, you're ready to go. I'm gonna put Mineral, this shade right here. It's a brown metallic shade with nice holographic glitters. But I don't think you guys are gonna see that on camera. I hope you do. Let me try my finger. And I'm also gonna take that same shade, Mineral, under my, my lower inner corner of my eye. The last shade that I'm gonna put is Hologram here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eyes. I feel like this eye is so much better when I'm putting on makeup. The shadows is always nice. The shape, anything I do with this eye is always better than this eye. This is the harder eye. I don't know why. Do you guys feel the same that you have a better eye? <laughs> Wait, also this one is really bad now. I have astigmatism. I went to the eye doctor. I can have prescription glasses for this eye. On the bright side, he also said that for my age, I have very good eyes. My son Kingston has astigmatism too but for his age it's actually pretty normal his eyes are still developing that's what the doctor said okay so what i noticed about holographic is shadow right here if you put it like ever so gently it is not very pigmented but there is super cute glitters holographic maybe it's like super tiny holographic glitters this colors right here that you see so pretty it's cute i'm gonna use the patrick ta shaping wax this one is a tinted one there's a clear one and there's a tinted one but I don't think it matters because this one doesn't really show any tint on my eyebrows. It looks like it's just clear. The clear one is always out of stock on Sephora. It's the same. I'm gonna brush my hair up like this. And give a little push so the product goes in my brows. This one too. Give that bushy brows effect. Okay, after that, I'm gonna go back with my Lime Crime and draw little tiny hairs where I got spots that there's no hair. Now that I brush it up, I can see spots. I'm gonna get a brush and then this away. Okay, next I'm gonna get the Kiki Double Beauty Brightening Number 2. I usually just get a fluffy brush for this one. A lot of makeup artists would actually bake right here. Do a tremendous amount of baking. This is the same thing. Use this one. You don't have to kick it up. You don't actually have to bake to brighten. But this is a good weapon. When you're feeling tired, this one is the pink one. There is a yellow one for medium and there is an orange for darker skin. I happen to like the pink one because it gives me really brightening effect. So before the sparkly, shiny highlights, metallic highlights, Lights. This is how makeup artists highlight matte light powder to brighten and highlight the face. I'm gonna give it a spray. I'm gonna do my mascara. This one is the KKW Beauty Mascara. Some people like clumpy mascara. I actually do like clumpy mascara. It gives a lot of volume and it's easier to curl it. And also if you work on clumpy mascara patiently you can you can lengthen your lashes very well this one is a very clumpy mascara and it's actually a personal preference whatever you like there is a mascara for you for me when it comes to mascara i look at the wand and it happens that this kind of mascara wands are my favorites I 
actually don't like um, Kiki WBB liners, eyeliners. They're not that pigmented and they don't stay quite well. This one is the black one. I'm gonna tight line. Okay, I think that's pretty. For my lips, I only have a few minutes left because my kids are fighting downstairs. <laughs> I can hear them. This one is actually pretty good. Again, this one is the 90s icon. I made a mistake here. Okay, for my lipstick, I'm going to use the 90s icon matte lipstick from KKW Beauty. Then I'm gonna blend that. Have you guys tried this trick? Blend your lip liner and lipstick with a brush, with a blending brush specifically. Let's take a dish. <laughs> All right, so this is it. This is the look. This is the look that I created from this palette right here. This one is, it has no name, but it is very good. It's nice. The shadows blended so well. The metallics are beautiful. I love it. I look so beautiful. I love this look. So pretty. Don't you guys love this lip combo? It's so pretty. 90s icon. When they get on sale, <laughs> order it. The matte lipstick in 90s icon and the lip liner in 90s icon. It's beautiful. My favorite KKW Beauty lip formula is the matte lipsticks and the lip liners. They're super nice, super incredible. This eyeshadows actually blew me away. For some reason, I thought these shadows are gonna be bad, but they're actually really good and I love them. So I hope you guys love this look as much as I do. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.